Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm recording this particular video in the dark today as a protest uh, to the possible passing of SOPA, PIPA, and ACTA. And the reason for this particular video recording is to talk to you geeks and nerds out there, or maybe you're not a geek and a nerd, but you're looking for a way to save money on water. Now, I realize that after meeting some of you in real life, you, you seem to be a, a little confused on the concept of showering. It's okay to do more than once a decade, okay? Uh, generally speaking, if you can do it once a day would be perfect. Uh, you know, if, 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 if you've got a little funk on you, uh, water is a great way of, of rinsing that away. Of course, you could also use soap, and in some cases, some of you might need steel wool. <clears throat> However, this video is not really about stinky geeks. It's about how to save money on water. And you're thinking, well, Chris, that's not a very geeky topic. Really? Well, let's go ahead and pull up the article. Go ahead. You can do it with me. I, I put the link for you in the description. How to save money on your water bill. Not, I'm not addressing this just to people named Bill. Your water bill. Like the statement that you get at the end of the month saying, you owe, we owe you for water because you didn't use it. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, fewer, fewer people would probably shower if they could do that. Uh, no, I'm not, not that I'm trying to say you should shower less. That is the wrong way to save money. Uh, at least in terms of showering less on a monthly basis. Shower every day, please. This is a PSA. For everybody who has to smell you in public, don't be stinky. All right, back to the article here. I've got it pulled up. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, tweet it, and like it on Facebook. I hope you do as well. Uh, so, Chris, why are you talking about this? Because isn't the Locker Gnome channel about geekery and nerdery? It is. And we found a few gadgets that can help you conserve water. Have you ever heard of something called the Aqualim? Have you? It can help you uh, uh, make your shower head a bit more water efficient. Yeah, check it. It's a gadget. Uh, there's, al there's also the, uh, have you seen the, the shower head? Or it's, you can possibly put it on a, a water faucet that, that has an LED that turns on when you run water through it. And it looks like your water's red or, or blue. Even though it's not really, it's just a light that's shining through it. It's kind of neat. That's geeky. Can't really save money with that, though, so I just wanted to throw that in there, you know, just for extra props to those of you who think that this wasn't geeky enough of a topic. Of course, if you're not paying your own water bill, video might not be for you. But I'm sure you know someone who does have a water bill. There's also Water Saver, and this gadget you would strap onto like a hose uh, to help uh, mitigate the flow of that uh, oh-so-fine liquid that might shoot out of the end of it. And then there's, of course, the Shower Timer. And it's good to shower, but sometimes you get stuck in there and you're like singing your Moxie Fruvis songs, doing the, you know, your new boyfriend's a bit of a right wing. And you're doing your thing. And then before you know it, you've listened to the entire Bargainville album, even though that wasn't on Bargainville. Where did the time go? You had no idea because you didn't have a shower timer installed. Well, we've got a nice little link for you to click so that you can start conserving water while you're still using water. Uh, and of course, we've got a few other tips uh, in there like, uh, you know, watching for any kind of leaks, uh, maintaining your toilet, and uh, stop wasting water. I mean, for example, uh, a little tip for you, it involves no technology whatsoever. You're brushing your teeth. Is that water still running? Does it really need to be running? Does it? I mean, maybe you're heating it up. That's, you know, one reason you might want uh, to, uh, to adjust it. Uh, there's another way of at least conserving your energy bill, not really your water bill, but adjusting your water heater. And anybody who tells you that they have a hot water heater is lying. I'm serious. How many people do you know have said they have a hot water heater? Do you know how I know that they're lying about a hot water heater? Because you don't need to heat hot water. Check out the link in the description to start saving money. We love sharing tips and tricks, and when it involves technology that can help you save money, we will absolutely share that stuff on LockerGnome.com. Hot water heater, indeed.